poem here stopping by woods on a snowy evening in warming up section where did you go for a picnic recently we went to hyderabad who all accompanied you our family accompanied us why did you select that picnic spot hyderabad is one of the great and big cities we thought that we may get lots of sights to see and enjoy what games foods or sights did you enjoy there we enjoyed a lot of there we played some racing games we saw ramoji hill city charminar snow park wonderla water park etc we tasted all food especially in ramoji hill city what did you feel when it was time to return home it was nervous feeling to come back from the trip look at the picture and frame the questions where are the trekkers trekking how many are they what's there in their hand at what time are they trekking what is that white thing is that snow see here you have to form the group of 4 to 6 students uh, some hints have given here and just you have to give the headings the first one is a bright blue sky soft white cloud sweeping by tiny specks of birds flying high sun playing hide and seek behind the clouds heading will be beautiful sky second miles of smooth barren land sparkling and stretched till the horizon in wave like forms thorny cacti propping here and there an occasional cluster of palms provide a shady spot a caravan of camel moving in a line in the distance and heading will be living life in a desert next question such a figurative description that creates mental pictures in the mind of the reader or listener is called imagery it is a poetic device that enhances the poem so compose in a group of four to six lines poem which contains imagery flying among the flowers like butterfly travel traveling among the stars in the galaxy planting a tree that reaches to the sky watching the sun with naked eyes some questions have given along with the poem where has the poet stopped poet stopped in the woods what season of the year is described here winter season is described here what time of the day is described here evening of the day is described here on what date every year is the darkest evening 21st of december is the darkest evening every year list the sounds mentioned in the poem harness bell sound of wind sound of down a flake what does the traveler have to leave the lovely woods because he has promises to keep and miles to go before he sleeps let's start the english workshop here put a right mark in the front of truth statement or wrong mark in front of false statement the speaker stops to watch rain falling among the trees it's wrong the owner of the woods is known to the speaker Yes, right. The horse is worried about the cold and wants to keep going. It's wrong again. The speaker doesn't emphasize upon the beauty of woods he is passing through. Wrong. Second question. Find out lines from the poem as a proof for the following explanation. There is no one to catch the speaker trespassing. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. the little horse draw his master attention he gives his harness bells a shake to us if there is some mistake his horse seem anxious to keep going my little horse must think it queer to stop without a farm house near the speaker prefers to say but is forced to move onwards but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep the poem is set in bygone era He gives his harness bell a shake. Question number three: The poem is described to have reference to the poet's life itself. What could the following signify? Choose from the bracket below. The speaker's journey, life, snowy evening, old age, lovely deep dark woods, everlasting peace, promises, duties, and responsibilities. sleep 
death. Tell whether the rhyme scheme of the following stanzas is right or wrong. For the rhyme wrong rhyme scheme, give the correct one. Stanza one, A A B A is right. Stanza stanza two, B B C B is wrong. It should be A A B A again. Stanza three, C C D C is wrong. It should be A A B A. Stanza four, D D E D is wrong. It should be A A A A. Give your own rhyming words for the following: house, mouse, foods, goods or foods, easy, busy, wind, skinned, dark, bark or mark, watch, notch or botch. Question number six: Match the lines of the poem with their figure of speech. Whose words these are? I think I know. Its inversion. The words are lovely, dark, and deep. Its alliteration. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. Its repetition. My little horse must think it queer. Its personification. Next, match the words given in the group A with their meaning in group B. Mistake, error. Downy flakes, soft snows falling, woods, jungle, square, strange, a snow or frozen that is ice. Complete the following web diagrams by adding suitable describing words in the boxes. One is done for you. Wind, easy, cold, hot, stormy, and dusty, and evening, sober, darkest. Cold, pleasant, and good. Question one nine. Pick out lines from the poem that contain imagery. Write them in your notebook. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmer's near. He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake. Interview. A person who has just returned from the trek in the woods. The question should be like this: Where did you get inspiration from taking trekking as a hobby? What you notice while visiting a new place that is like only natural beauty or cultural lifestyle? Is trekking an adventure sports? How infrastructure can be improved in major trekking routes in India? Did you read any books relating to trekking or mountaineering? Some famous Indian personalities in this field. Difference between trekking and mountaineering. What are all things required to go for trek? Do you follow any travel blogs before going to trek? How you can market trekking if you dream of some hill district? Second, a person who has recently scaled Mount Everest. Question will be like this: What kind of person are you? Explain yourself in a few words. How long have you been climbing? Tell us about your Everest project. When did you have the idea to climb Everest without supplemental oxygen? Why do you believe it is important to climb without oxygen? What is your biggest fear on the trip? What is your partner's best expedition trait? Where will this expedition take future climber, and what are you hoping to accomplish in this ascent? So these are.